Baby, when a dude shows you who he is the first time, please believe him. When you see red flags, please believe them. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, I'll give you a second to subscribe. Go ahead. No, it's okay, I'm patient. Okay, that was more than enough time. As you guys can see by the title, I'm gonna be doing another story time today. You guys been waiting like a long ass time. Like I know I make you guys wait a little bit all the time, but this time it was definitely a long ass time. I know you guys are probably reading the title like, excuse me, Chessa, you were a what? You were a side bitch. Let me explain before y'all get to jump into conclusions and putting two and two together and putting equations together that don't make sense or don't add up. Let me explain. Pause, cause I need to glue my nail back on. So for my famous disclaimers, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys, if you're new, hey girl, you're gonna love it here, so go ahead and subscribe, hit that button, like I said in the beginning, because if you click on this story time, it's cause you like a little bit of mess, don't lie. Okay, don't lie to yourself. You like a little bit of mess, okay? And it's okay, we all like a little bit of tea, a little bit of mess, like, go get your popcorn, go get your ramen, go get your elote, whatever you eating, and let's do this, okay? If you're new, I like to clickety clack my nails, okay? Um, it's really not that I like to do it, it's a bad habit. When I talk, I do this a lot. I be like, I'm gonna try not to do it as much because it's probably not pleasing to the ear. So this is not one of those things I'm just telling you to deal with. I'm gonna work on it, okay? We love an accountable queen. I'm, I just did it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the story time because I'm tired and I'm trying to push this video out for you guys literally tomorrow like this video is dropping tomorrow so i need to be able to edit this whole thing tonight and i don't want to do too much editing so i'm going to go ahead and get into the story this took place in about 2017 i was 16 i would i want to say that was 10th grade because i'm class of 2019 so if i did my little monkey math right then i was definitely in 10th grade this is when i first got my license i first got my car or whatever because i got my license Pretty much right when I turned 16. I was not waiting. I was not about to be asking my mama for no rides no more. Like, all of that shit was so dead. I was like, okay, as soon as I turned 16, I need to go ahead and get my L's because I hate depending on a ride, y'all. Y'all know I like to get into little sub explanations about shit because I'm a very detailed queen. Something about me is I have to drive myself everywhere I go. Like, even sometimes when my friends say, girl, I can pick you up, I'm like, near, like, near. I like for me to drive myself places so I can go the fuck home whenever I'm ready. I don't wanna be, you know, that person that's like, can you take me home, take me home now? And like, everybody's enjoying themselves or people wanna make another move and I wanna go, be, I wanna go home. I don't wanna be that burden, but at the same time, I wanna go the fuck home when I'm ready to go the fuck home. So, I like to drive myself places, so I definitely, wanted to get my license as soon as I was 16 because even when I was back young and my mom had to you know drop me off and pick me up I would be finding myself places that I didn't want to be so we're gonna go ahead and give this boy the name Chipotle um I know that's not too much of a funny name I know y'all know me for giving funny names and shit but literally he worked at Subway the thing that reminds me of Subway is Chipotle Southwest Oh, I don't know if I want to call him that now. Y'all know I'm so indecisive. Hold on, hold on. Okay, y'all, I know what we're going to call him. Because Chipotle might be a little confusing because Chipotle is also a restaurant and Subway is a restaurant. And that's what we're going to be talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and name him Pepper Jack because, I don't know, Pepper Jack cheese, Subway, it goes together. So that's what we're going to do. I was in 10th grade. We did go to the same school, but this man was an upperclassman. I'm not going to lie. He was 18. It was giving very much groom he was a senior and i was a sophomore it's reminding me of another story time i want to tell you guys about the when i pulled up on this girl because it was also about a boy who ain't have no business talking to us with his senior ass and we were in ninth grade but that's another story for another time let's go ahead and get back to the story so I don't know about you guys and like y'all's high school, but in my high school and in middle school, it was like a big thing with like the paragraphs, like sending paragraphs. I'm gonna put a meme on the screen of like 
pretty much where it explains, or not explains, but like an, an example of what I'm talking about. Like, I know that when we used to have little boo things or little boyfriends or whatever you want to call it, we used to love when they sent us, you know, paragraphs while we're asleep, paragraphs while we're in class, and it would be the most corny paragraph with all them emojis. Like, now, if a dude sent me that, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna block you because that's corny. It's just very, it's giving very much middle school. So, um, on top of that being a big thing around this time, it was also like bringing, uh, bringing you food. Like you want me to bring you some food after school or you want me to bring you some food to work. I don't know about you guys, but like whenever I had a dude I was talking to that could drive, I don't know why it really did it for us, but it really did. Like bringing me Chick-fil-A to my, like me coming outside the driveway and grabbing the Chick-fil-A, just going back inside and that's it. Like we was really anticipating people to bring us food. I don't know, we just felt like we was grown when, you know, a boy would bring us food, vice versa. I would say about three times out the week, at least, I would bring him food from time to time to his job. It's definitely giving pick me vibes, like it's definitely giving I drive and I wanna prove to you that I drive because if I'm thinking about it, you work at Subway, why am I bringing you food? Why am I bringing you food? So to give a little background on this boy, um, pretty much when we would go to school together, it would be a flip floppy ass vibe. Like there would be times that we would be at school and I don't know, fourth period, he'd act like my boyfriend. Sixth period, he'd act like he didn't fucking know me. I was very much naive when it came to this little relationship because again, at the time, I didn't think that when an older, you know, upperclassmen wanted to talk to an underclassman that it was all almost always for an alternative motive, which if it was for, you know, one of the alternative motives that it's usually for, if you know what I mean, he didn't get that and he wasn't gonna get that. And that's probably why he did me the way he did. Wow, a light bulb just went off. Whenever he would see me in the hallway and I would just be with my friends and he wouldn't really be around his friends, he would talk to me, um, he would walk with me, stuff like that. But when it came to him being very public with me in school around his class, it was dead in the water. Like I, I would be like, seeing him being like, hey, and he'd act like he didn't fucking see me. And I would be telling myself like, maybe this man really didn't fucking see me, but girl, you're giving clout, like stop. That boy saw you, he just didn't wanna say hey. Back to um, pretty much me bringing him food. So he worked at a subway that was pretty close to the school. So he would pretty much go straight from school to subway and he would work like the shit to go, like to close or whatever. So he would be there probably, let's say from 4.30 to like 10 o'clock or whatever time Subway closes, I don't fucking know. Whenever I would offer to bring him food or sometimes he would ask me to bring him food for some reason, he always wanted me to just bring it outside of his job. And at this time, I had only had like one job like before this. So I didn't really know how every job worked or like what sounded realistic and what just didn't when he would tell me you know park in front of the dominoes because there was a dominoes and a subway right next to each other and he would pretty much tell me like um can you park in front of the dominoes because i have this manager who be tripping and they don't really like us to bring outside food to work pretty much just had this whole excuse that his manager was tr always tripping on him and that he pretty much had to like go outside to where his manager wouldn't be able to look out the glass and see him. Because the way that the subway was, it was like that tinted glass or that like one-sided glass. I don't know how to explain it, but they could see perfectly outside, of course, but you really couldn't see too well into the subway. Whenever I would pull up anyways, I would pretty much not see him until he's coming out the door. I would pull up in front of the Domino's like he told me to do. He would come outside and I would bring him food and he would really never stay outside of the car with me for more than 10 minutes max. Like. He would stay out there, talk to me a little bit. He would eat his food like he ain't ate a meal in like a week. Like he would just eat it real fast. He wouldn't bring it inside or nothing, but he would like eat it real fast. And then he pretty much tell me that he had to go. And he never really wanted me to go inside. Like he never wanted me to sit in there and chill. Cause I had a lot of friends that had jobs where if I wanted to come see them at work, I could just sit in there like, sit at the table at McDonald's and just chill there and talk to them when they, you know, not dealing with a customer. Cause when we were young, like jobs like that were more lenient. He always kicked to me that, you know, they were pretty strict there. So, and with me not really being someone who ate Subway at the time, like now, your girl likes Subway. But at the time, I didn't really care for Subway. So whenever he said, you know, he had a strict manager, I didn't really want to bother him at work. You know, I just wanted him to bring him food and to go to fuck home. And he would end up FaceTiming me whenever he left 
Woo, 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 woo. For some reason, I never really connected the dots with him not wanting me to come in and him only coming out really fast, which his break would be like, 20 i think it was like 20 to 30 minutes and he would only come out for 10 and he'd be in such a rush i don't really know why i didn't connect the dots then but like me now would have been like dude what's your damage like why is you running damn near into this subway when you have like 20 minutes left of your break are you okay there would literally also be times where like when i would ask him when i would get there with the food that he agreed for me to get he would be like oh my manager's tripping like they're pretty much telling me my break isn't gonna be till later. Like, I'm, I'm not getting my break right now. He would literally tell me like, hey, I'm going on break. Can you bring me some food? And then he would say, oh, never mind. I'm not on break. My break's not till later. And my dumbass would literally have to eat the food that I got for him because I couldn't end up like giving it to him. And there would be times that he would pay me back like for those times or whatever. But my dumbass would be like, okay. And me being such a foodie, I didn't really care. Like I would just, ooh. I would just eat it so i would like that is so like looking back sometimes when i tell these stories i'd be like groom before i get to like the big situation that happened like i always do i'm gonna tell you guys other red flags that he would do that i didn't fucking peep for some reason i guess i was blind or i don't know maybe part of my brain just did not work when it came to boys because i did not see red flags that now i would be like come on i don't know how every high school works but at my high school there were different lunches of course it has to be like that at every school right at least every big school so there would be like a lunch b lunch and c lunch and depending on your fourth period class like what um subjects they were is how they divided you up into your lunches so say you have math for a period which i did which i believe was b lunch um math and i think english the classes all on that hall like those three rows of hallways i guess would eat lunch together and then if you had gym fourth period you had c lunch with i guess fine arts and you know the more extracurricular type classes pepper jack he had C lunch because I believe he had like gym or he had some drama or he had some shit. I had math, so I had B lunch. I was very close with my teachers. Like my teachers loved me. I, I fucked with my teachers. My teachers would fuck with me. Um, a lot of the times if I got done with my work in math in my fourth period class, she would let me go to the library or she'd let me go to the gym. Like, or she would tell me to go, I could go to the library and my ass would walk to the gym and be in the gym with my friends. Like that's kind of how I did things in high school, which I don't recommend. Focus on your work. Test day or whatever would be we would get the test in the beginning of class and then B lunch would come you know somewhere halfway between the class and if we weren't done with our tests then we would obviously have to finish it when we came back from lunch but I would always be done with my test before we went to lunch so whenever I would be done with my test she'd be like if you want to go to the library you can go to the library just make sure you're back by the time the bell rings my ass of course was not in the motherfucking library like your bitch was smart but Am I going to the library when I could just be going to another lunch or when I can be going to see another teacher I like or go to the gym? Like, you know, I was pretty much going wherever my heart desired. This particular day, I decided to go to see lunch and see old boy. He would be sitting with girls like, and y'all, not gonna lie to y'all i don't like all that friendly shit but i know just because a dude is more on the friendly side or has a lot of female friends doesn't mean necessarily that they're cheating on you but it was just the way that he didn't really like me being friendly at school he didn't really like me talking to dudes at lunch like he would ask me like oh i bet you be flirting with niggas at lunch and i'd be like no i really don't he would always say like oh i can't be watching you because i don't have no underclassmen friends so i don't be knowing what you're doing like nigga if you don't got no underclassmen friends what business do you have having an underclassman main girlfriend and I pretty much had walked over to him and was like hey like hey I would expect a smile at least or like a hey like what are you doing at my lunch but this nigga looked so embarrassed like he was like like looking around at the girls and the girls was looking at him like are you good he had got up and he was like coming to me he was like what are you doing like what are you doing and I was like I was just coming to say hey and he was like why are you not in class like on some dad shit like on some mom shit like your boyfriend in high school is not gonna care that you're not in class 
like come on like they would want to see you and talk to you i mean of course it would be good if he genuinely cared about me being in class but that's not why he was saying that he knew i had a good grade in that class he knew that i'd be finishing my test like we'd be talking after school like on facetime we'd be texting during school like he knows what's up but i didn't text him and say hey i'm finna head to your lunch because i wanted to surprise the kid and not to mention him being on the football team he never really wanted me to wear his um number it's not like i'm trying to be you know basketball wives or nothing but if you playing a sport then of course i'll come because if i already come to the games why not come with your number like huh and like he's not somebody who's more on the low-key side either so before y'all say like girl maybe he thought you was moving too fast like no before me he done had girlfriends that would come to his games with the with the numbers with the number painted on their face all of that like he was into that stuff just not with me he been trying to talk to me for weeks before we started like fucking with each other for real and we were friends like i knew him probably since i was in ninth grade i knew of him and we were cool and stuff so it wasn't like he had just met me and i'm like let me wear your number on my face let me wear your number on my shirt no it wasn't like that those were red flags that i didn't really put two and two together or i didn't really peep for real that i should have before proceeding to be bringing this nigga lunch after he already ate lunch at school like baby you ate lunch don't do that one day while he was at work i had texted him and this was like a day i could remember that i was really not having the best day y'all i was like you know what i'm just bringing him food come see him at work real quick i don't have nothing else better to do girl why didn't you get a job talking about you didn't have nothing better to do i had texted him and i asked him hey you want me to bring you some chick-fil-a and of course like who's gonna turn down chick-fil-a he's like yeah you can bring it to me or whatever when i got there and told him like that i had picked up his food he told me to bring it inside I get a text from him, a text back from him saying, okay, bring it inside. And in my head, I'm like, hold on. I have never gone inside this subway damn near since he's been working here. He always comes outside. He never, like, he literally said it, that the manager be watching the cameras and that they're not supposed to bring outside food inside. So I'm like, all of a sudden, why is this man bucking? Like, why are you so comfortable now all of a sudden bringing your food in there? that you weren't comfortable doing before. This is probably where I should have been like, I'm getting set up. This is a setup. I was just like, are you sure you want me to? And he was like, yeah. And um, you're a grown ass man. So, okay, if you want me to bring it inside, I'm gonna bring it inside. Uh, this man didn't have no little chicken nugget meal or no little entree. He had the whole chicken sandwich deluxe with the lemonade and the cookie and all that. Like, I had a big old thing of food that I was bringing inside for him. So I'm carrying all this food into the um, subway and tell me why there's a bitch standing at the little checkout counter with his phone in her hand staring at me like staring at the door she's just like and i'm like what is this like do you need recommendations baby like i suggest the italian urban cheese bread like why are you staring at me like that like who is this bitch wait a minute are you? I look at Pepper Jack and I'm like, what is she talking about? Tell me why Pepper Jack is standing there like how you stand when your mama is defending you to a teacher. Like when your mom finally like is on your side when your teacher says you've been doing something or your mom is like, you know, checking your teacher for doing something to you. You seen them kids who get their parents stand up to their bullies for them. They just stand there like. That's how he was looking. This girl gonna say, so you're one of them bitches okay with being a side piece? Side piece? Girl, let me find out. <laughs> Enlighten me, because what is you talking about? I'm trying to give her the benefit of the doubt before knocking her teeth to the back of her throat because I don't like the way she's coming at me. I don't like the way that you're saying, you know, you're one of them, you're one of them. Like, you're one of them bitches. Like, I'm one of them who? I'm one of them, okay? Like, girl, I don't know about you, but when people get to calling me all types of bitches and shit, those are fighting words. Your teeth will be giving puzzle. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. That's fighting words. This girl proceeds to tell me how, girl, this nigga been telling you to pull up in front of the dominoes because your scary ass knows that I be in here. You know I be in here. That's why you be, y'all be sneaking around. And I, I read the messages. He was telling you to just pull up in front of the dominoes and all this shit. And I'm like, girl, if you read the messages, then you read in the messages where this man told me is because his manager like what i don't know if he would delete those parts or i don't know what he did on his phone i don't know what kind of editing this man did on his phone but she's over here like acting like i knew that they was fucking with each other or what so i'm like huh so i start to feel 
stupid because she said that she'd be in there so i'm over here connecting dots in my head like wow i'm really bringing this man food whole time his girlfriend is sitting in there i'm being scammed like this is a scam. So I'm like, uh, girl, I don't know what you talking about, but he told me it's cause his manager be tripping. I know nothing about you. So when I say that y'all, this man smacks his teeth as if I'm snitching on him again. Like he's giving like, like, like I'm being messy or something as if I dead ass did know about her or something. I knew nothing of the sort. Like I knew nothing about this girl. She's like, you've been telling me that you go over to Domino's and that you eat your food real quick and then you come back. I guess basically like he was telling her that they're not allowed to eat like lunches. Like they, they don't get free meals at Subway. So he'd be walking over next door to the Domino's while she waits for, for him in there. He'd be going back with 20 minutes left of the break or whatever. So I guess she never really thought to go out to the Domino's with him because he'd be coming back in the next 10 minutes. He leaves me after like 10 minutes of being out there. She's like, yeah, whole time you going for 10, you gone for 10 minutes and you with this bitch and I'm sitting here your whole shift with you and she's going off on him. So she turns over to him, starts going off on him after going off on me and I'm just sitting here soaking up everything she's saying like, wow, y'all, this man literally could have been eating at Subway. He could have been eating, he could have been slapping some turkey on some bread for free. I was damn near his Uber Eats. Whole time he has a cool ass manager who really doesn't care about shit that they do in there. Lenient as gives them free sandwiches. Obviously the girl's been sitting in there chilling the whole time like, I'm literally being punked at this point. So at this point, I'm ready to crash out because she's still giving me energy even after me explaining to her that I knew nothing of her. And with her knowing that he's been lying to her about shit, I'm thinking we about to team up like on some Ninja Turtle assemble shit. Like, girl, he's playing you and he's playing me. So we could team up and get onto his ass. Like, why is you getting on me and him? Like, I, I knew you or something. I didn't know you. He was very much living best of both worlds like Hannah Montana. He was going to school, being my boyfriend. I mean, he was my boyfriend, like I said, a couple periods out the day, but he was caked up with me at school. And then she, she didn't go to our school, so I guess he was caked up with her after school, getting lunch for me for free, and we were both being played very heavily. I turned to her, and at this point, I'm like, bitch, what the are you talking about this has you looking just as stupid as me i didn't know about you i'm telling her i didn't know about you and you are still coming at me some type of way like i get it you're you're going at him too as you should because if you are his girlfriend or you're talking to him too like we should both be mad at him but why are you still coming at me like i was not coming at her like oh no that's my man like you will never see me on no shit like that if i'm hearing you're talking to him and i'm talking to him too why would i be mad at you as long as you didn't know we was talking and you're not my friend you don't owe me no type of loyalty we're both literally getting played so she starts yelling at me threatening to throw all types of sandwiches or bread or throw drinks at me and shit and i'm like okay do that and i'm like do that so i start pulling up my hair because at this point i used to wear my hair straight a lot so i was pulling up my hair and i was walking towards her tell me why this man jump over the damn counter like we getting separated on jerry springer like he's one of the damn security guards like that's the most embarrassing part about it. Like he's holding back two girls that are essentially fighting over him. Like I wasn't fighting over him. I was fighting, I was gonna fight her cause she was disrespecting me and cause it was just giving like, you're coming at the wrong person, calm your ass down. But she was trying to fight me over this dude. Like girl, that this is not cute. Like why, why is this happening right now? So as he's holding both of us back from each other, I'm starting to come back to reality and be like, why am I here? Why am I still here? Why am I being held back by this dweeb who just played me? And why am I about to fight this girl that clearly is not fucking worth it because this girl can't even comprehend the fact that we both got played by the same dude. So she ends up coming down, I end up coming down, nobody swung on nobody, well, nobody swung and connected on anybody and i end up just saying fuck this so i pretty much turn to him and on some dramatic ass shit i tell him you know what you're lame as fuck don't come to school talking to me don't come to school trying to be on some you know shit that you've been on i turn to her i'm like girl i'm not about to fight you over this dude he is not worth it you are not worth it but we've been talking for a while, so you should really evaluate your situation with him. And she's going, girl, don't worry about my situation with him. Don't worry about my situation with him. I'ma still be here. I ain't going nowhere, bitch. You can go, you can go. And I'm like, 
that's embarrassing so i get mad but i'm ready to leave at this point so i knocked the food like the food that i had brought for him was like on the counter this whole time at this point mind you there were no customers in there i don't know it was dead as fuck on this day it was probably like a wednesday or something i don't know but it was very dead i end up knocking the food off the table because it's like babes you played me at work so i'm gonna give you some work to do ain't no customers in this bitch you ain't making no sandwiches so you're gonna clean up all this food that I got you. Fuck you, I could've ate it, I wasted my own money. But to be fair, I really don't like Chick-fil-A sandwiches like that, nor do I like lemonade, nor do I like chocolate. And he had a chocolate chip cookie, so I didn't want none of that shit. And I didn't want him to eat it, and I didn't want her to eat it. And there were no homeless people to give it to, so there was nobody else to give it to, y'all. So I gave it to the floor. I gave it to the floor and he gave it to the mop. So I'm knocking on the floor and I start walking out. And why? While I'm walking out, this man's like, really? I'm not going to have uh, time to make a sandwich. Or he said some shit like, um, now I'm not going to have time to eat. Like, I don't care. I don't care about you eating. You can eat dirt for all I care. I don't care about you eating. Did you think I was going to leave that and let you still eat it after this situation? Like, he was very delusional. I cannot. Y'all, I will never forget him saying that. Like... I'm, I'm pretty sure he said I won't have time to make me um, a lunch because he because that's how I found out that they're able to make sandwiches by him saying that but I was just really like looking like wow there, there are literally dudes out here that will play the fuck out of you another girl have you and that girl almost fighting and then still be worried about the food that you just brought them why I went home and was getting all types of messages from him blowing my phone up with messages I'm sorry I'm sorry I really did like you and appreciate you that's my first love like she's not my girlfriend she's my first love I wasn't cheating on you the hold that first loves have on the person is really just beyond me like the boy the boy that I'm dating now is my first love because he showed me that the person that I thought I loved before him that was not love so he's my first love and I'm so glad that we are that for each other he said he told me the same thing that I showed him his previous um love wasn't love we we did that for each other so I'm so glad I'm not having to deal with no man that has no first love because the hold they be having on these men neck is crazy. And one thing about me, baby, is if you have to choose between me and another bitch, I'm going to make that situation way easier for you. I'm going to make that decision cut and clean and clear for you. Choose her because, baby, I'm not about to do this. I've been bringing you food and like he said, I've been showing that I am interested in you and you already played me with another girl, been lying straight to my face, been being shady at football games. And y'all, I, I done found out from this girl, like she ended up hitting me up. I think she found my Instagram and DM me on some more raw, raw shit. She was like, bitch, you don't really know this man for real. Like she was giving that, y'all know that song by Cash Doll? It was like, that nigga don't even know you, no kind no photos never seen them in the daylight do you know what the nigga really looked like that's what she was giving me like girl I've been talking to this nigga on and off for years I'd be at his football games wearing his number I don't know how you ain't peep she was like um I guess he done told her like he was playing both sides like he was talking shit about me to her like I didn't even want her to wear my number to the school games I was just using her for food I was just using her to bring me food he pretty much convinced her that it was not serious and she took him back or whatever as she said she would so she was on, on my lines all the with all the girl he was using you for food i was at them football games and apparently she had got put on with him years ago by one of the girls that goes to our school that he's friends with like i think is one of his best friends and she was in his lunch so that's probably why you know he was not trying to talk to me at lunch he wasn't trying to get caught up you can have him baby because this is clearly the type of man that you deserve not i so I'm like, okay, girl, you can have them. Like, you can have them, but stop with all the... Like, she was trying to check me about something I was already done with. So at that point, it was like, cool, do you want to fight? If not, stop texting me. And she was pretty much like, we don't got to fight, baby. I already won. I still got him. Like, she wasn't talking about nothing. I am giving him back to you, girl. But that's pretty much the end of that story. Don't be at school all in the drama, y'all. Don't be fighting over no boys. Don't be focusing on boys. Focus or girls. Focus on school. Focus on you. Because I guarantee you, like, not to burst any of y'all's bubbles. If you're with a boy in high school and you're happy with him and you're balancing, you know, your school life and your boyfriend or whatever, I'm not going to shit on your dreams. You 
might be able to be high school sweethearts. Y'all might get married. Y'all might. I can't say you won't. But nine times out of ten, the boy that you talk to in high school, especially in as, as young as 10th grade, is not going to be your man when you leave high school. So just focus on the shit that matters, which is school. Balance friends, but prioritize school and family. Friends and boys and, and boys and girls and all that shit so, should come last because it doesn't matter and all it's going to do is stress you out and give you premature gray hairs. And that's why your girl be having to get her roots touched up. But yeah, y'all, that's the end of this story time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm not going to be taking any more two-week long breaks. If I get sick again, y'all, I'm just going to have to thug it out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be posting consistently. Make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of little sneak peeks of when my videos are coming out or when, like, I post my countdowns for my story time drops. So definitely go follow me on Instagram and go show love, like my pictures. Y'all can go stalk me, like, really. Go do it right now. Run to Instagram and go like all my pictures. If you guys like this video, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss when I post a video. Follow me on all my social medias that are in the link tree in the description box below. I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.